Hello friends, very good morning to all of you. Today is 9th of April and we will discuss the respective current affairs. And here is a motivational quote for you all. Keep a little fire burning, however small, however hidden. This means, whatever the potential you have, whatever the less potential you have, whatever the minute stuff you can do in any particular big thing, just follow the pattern here. Definitely. A very minute percentage, if you consistently with the same, you will definitely uh, make something very big change in the coming days if you are consistent from now onwards. Right? Jo apke under potential hai, jo apke under karne ke taakat hai, usko continue kijiye. Definitely, ek na ek din ap usko ek bada roop mein dekh paoge, ek uh, major change apke samne aayega. Right? So, however small it is, just continue with your belief, just continue with your potential you have, however small or however um, hidden in respect of the societal status you are being followed, okay? So, with this motivational quote, let's move to the first news point for today. Jetstar and Indigo Partner are for international flight. So, which are the two? That is? Jetstar and Indigo Partner are for international flight. Jetstar and Indigo Partner. And this announced a low cost carrier that is interline agreement will allow the Jetstar customer to book the connection and flight on Indigo services through the Jetstar Connect platform. And the virtual interline relationship between the two that is LCC low cost carrier which will begin at the end of April and is made by the possible Dohop. A technology business and flight search engine. Second one, Titan Tanisk. Titan Tanisk. Tanisk. Yeah. Titan Tanisk becomes the first Indian jewelry brand to step into metaverse with the launch of Riva Collections. So Tanisk becomes the first Indian jewelry brand to step into metaverse with the launch of Riva Collection. So the company that is Titan Tanisk. And this is a collection in a virtual world of the Metaverse platform create an immersive and personalized 3D virtual experience for its viewers, right? As mentioned by the uh, G Business Managing Director Anil Singh. Okay, moving to the next one. IGDTUW, so what's the full form? It's uh, quite a longer one. Delhi government run Indira Gandhi Delhi Tech. Technical University for Women. Indira Gandhi Delhi Technical University for Women. Okay, is one Indira Gandhi Delhi Technical University for Women. And this uh, has signed an agreement with the Malaysian University to promote the bilateral research opportunities. And the agreement allows both the universities to have a provision for students and faculty exchange along with the bilateral research opportunities between the two um, institutions. And uh, this is a joint international conference for the international internship for the students. Uh, from the two universities. Moving to the next one. Wipro appoints Asis Chencha as the CEO of the same, that is APMEA, that is talking about the uh, different region, that is Asia Pacific, AP Asia Pacific, India, Middle East, and Africa. Middle East and Africa. Asia Pacific, India, Middle East, and Africa, that is APMEA. Wipro appoints Anis Chencha. As the CEO of this region, that is Asia Pacific, India, Middle East, and Africa. Change comes with over the two decades of experience in consulting IT and business process services. So remember the uh, name here, that is Wipro appoints Anis Chencha, Anis Chencha as the CEO of the particular region, that is Asia Pacific, India, Middle East, and Africa. Moving to next. World's tallest Lord Murugan statue unveiled in Tamil Nadu. Unveiled in Tamil Nadu? That is called uh, tallest Lord Murugan statue. Constructed by a trust that is Puthira Groundan Palayam. Puthira Groundan Palayam. The statue stands taller than the Puthumalai Murugan statue in Malaysia that has a height of 150 feet. As the statue in Salem was consecrated, rose petals were showered on it to a helicopter. The consecration also witnessed thousands of devotees thronging to uh, the, the Temple premises to worship and attend the puja ceremony. So, world's tallest Lord Murugan statue unveiled in Tamil Nadu. Moving to the next one. Live commerce platform that is Roposo partners with actor Rana Dugabati 
to launch the co-credit men's grooming brand that is DCRAF. DCRAF that is direct to consumer grooming brand DCRAF. Okay, just remember the, the name here DCRAF and uh, um, uh, life commerce platform Roposo partner. So, it, which of the following actor that is the name Rana Dugaboti? And here's the pick. Marketing a foray into the fast growing men's grooming space, actor Rana Dugaboti and and the creator led live commerce platform Roposo. Roposo is a live commerce platform that is Roposo and uh, partnered with actor Rana Dugaboti have launched a co credit men's direct consumer grooming brand that is DCRAF. Right? So, DCRAF is a consumer grooming brand. Live commerce platform Roposo partners with the actor Rana Dugaboti to launch the Pro Credit Man's Grooming brand. The name I have already mentioned that is DCRAF. Moving to the next. Indian Minister Piyush Goel and Australian Minister Dan Tehan, Australian Minister Dan Tehan attend a community event and buffs Sri Swami Narayan Mandir in Sydney. Swami Narayan Mandir in Sydney that is uh, at, the, at an community event that is by um, uh, organized by the Indian Minister of Peace Goel and attend the, the, be, between the uh, two ministers of the two countries that is Indian Minister of Peace Goel and Australian Minister Dan Tehan. Australian Minister of Trade and Tourism. Dan Tehan, just remember the name here in uh, which field that is Australian Minister of Trade and Tourism and Investment that is Mr. Dan Tehan. On April 7, April 7, attended community event and buffs Sri Saminarayan uh, Mandir in Sydney. Moving to the next news here. Luxury brand Dyer, uh, I have not uh, uh, heard it earlier, but anyway, uh, luxury brand Dyer to hold its first ever fashion show in South Korea. This uh, this is a very, very important news. This is a very prominent, maybe I am missing something. But anyway, just remember the news point here that Dyer is a very prominent company in South Korea, launched its first ever fashion show. That is on based on luxury brand. The event will be held at the Ewa Women's University in Seoul on 30th April 2022. That will showcase the autumn and winter 2022 runway collection creative director Maria Grazia Chiuri. Okay, I have to remember this because this is a very, very uh, popular brand in South Korea. Okay, if you um, uh, cannot remember this, that is not a good thing. You have to remember uh, because of its uh, prominent. Uh, um, uh, mindset among, among the uh, people okay this is the luxury brand that is diet first ever fashion show launched in south korea and was subsequently shown at the park fashion week paris fashion week on march 1st 2022 so this has already been started in paris fashion week that that, that, that has already started from 1st of march in paris fashion week and luxury brand diet to hold its first ever fashion store in south korea Hope it's clear and along with all the news points I have discussed till now and that is all for now. Thanks for watching.